What's up y'all, Danny from Van Life Northwest coming to you today with this immaculately clean, low mileage LH-119 high ace camper. LH-109 is Toyota's um, middle length, middle wheelbase length high ace with the 2.8 liter naturally aspirated diesel and four wheel drive. This is a full time four wheel drive model, which means it's always rolling uh, much like all wheel drive. This van has only 32,000 miles on it, and it shows every aspect of this van is very clean. We'll start here with the engine quickly. Um, if you've seen any of the other vans we've sold, you'll know that we spend a lot of time with mechanical overhaul work on this. This one's had um, all the timing components replaced, all the coolant hoses so not only the rad hoses but all the coolant carrying hoses all the fuel hoses um, this had the fan clutch all the drive belts fuel filter air filter motor mounts alternators replaced um, let's see what else rad cap valve cover gasket atf flush all the gear oil so front diff rear diff middle diff and um, it's had our two inch lift. So front and rear shocks. It's also had a full brake overhaul, so new brake pads, turned rotors, repacked wheel bearings, new wheel um, and hub seals. Sure, there's more mechanical stuff we did. I'm just not recalling in the moment. Now let's move back here to the camper. So this camper has, so this van has a bench in the front and I'll show you, I might as well just pop this down so we can see this before we get to the camper. So this is actually a three seater. This folds up. So one, two, three in the front. Then there's two more belted positions here and another two here. So this actually will drive seven and sleep four. So this here turns into a bed, which I'll show here in a minute after I cut. And this up here is an upper bunk. So there's a number of slats up here that come down and sit in this rail here. And it turned into an upper bunk. Better for kids, I'm gonna say. It's not great for large, full-size humans. But little ones are perfect. Removable table. I'll come around back here. New Dometic refrigerator with freezer. And here is a butane stove, brand new as well too. Conveniently stored in that pocket. We've got a sink here, faucet, with a retractable for the faucet. All new jugs for the two fresh water jugs and a gray water jug and new water lines. And up top we've got a new Max Air fan. Now all this is tied into the battery system. And uh, it's, it's a little hard to see because it's buried underneath the rear seat here. If we pop this down, there's the battery. So that's a lithium 12 volt, um, 100 amp hour. And then in down in here is our control panel. So it's got a Bluetooth, Victron Bluetooth battery monitor. So you can monitor the status of the auxiliary battery. Battery isolation system, it's solar ready. It doesn't have solar panels, but you can put solar panels on it with this system. Um, and a fuse panel and shore power charging. So the, the, the auxiliary battery system has been fully revamped new power lines run to the um, alternator to charge it these guys these lights here are leds so all the lights in here have been replaced with leds this actually has a heater an original heater um, and i believe it is a makuni and it is functional so when i mean heater i mean it has a parking heater so when you're stopped or camping you can run this heater while you're hanging out in the van or sleeping. 
It also has an AC and heater unit combination that lives underneath here, and that's functional as well too. So front cab AC, that's all been gone through by us. It's fully functioning, and it also works back here so your passengers are comfortable. Very cool setup. Let's look at how the bed works. And so there you have it. The bed is now made. This is about a full size. The back simply folds down. These two cushions invert. The whole bench slides this way. Pop in that panel back here. And that's the bed, the lower bunk. Now up top, as mentioned before, there are panels up here two of them, they slide out, go on this track here to create the bed up top. Best for little ones. We'll come back over here, get a better view of the interior. Lots of storage up top and here and underneath the cabinets. All right, y'all, currently this van's for sale. If you're interested, find us on Instagram, Van Life Northwest. Give us a call, that's best. And visit our website for the full details and listing on this van. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Peace.